Hi, and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today, we're building an arm model that explores how the arm moves thanks to our bicep and tricep. We're going to gather up our supplies here, and you can get these templates from the website, and I'll have a link in the description. And we printed it off on a thicker kind of cardstock type of paper. We're going to take the parts labeled one, two, and three, and chase them, trace them onto a piece of cardboard. This is just a piece of cardboard from the side of a cereal box. You don't need anything fancy. And then we're using a skewer just to help make those holes, again, following our template. And we're just gonna make those holes a little bit larger. And we're gonna trace the last piece here and do the same thing. And then we're going to cut out each of those pieces. Go, just make sure those holes go all the way through. Perfect. Now we're just gonna make those little fingers stand out on the hand. And we're gonna take the bones from the template, the muscles we just colored in red with a felt marker. And we're gonna use a glue stick and we're gonna glue them onto this piece as shown. Go, and we just wanna make a hole that goes all the way through. And now we're gonna add the muscles. And again, this project is just showing the bicep and tricep. If you wanted, especially with your more advanced students, you could get them to design and add even more of the muscles throughout the arms and even shoulders. You could even get into the muscles and bones of the hands if you wanted to get more in depth. We just want to do this more as an entry level STEM project that explores a little bit of the biology of the human arm. So now we're adding the bones of the forearm. There we go. Now we've just got some paper fasteners. These are the Brad's style and some string. And we're gonna tie some little loops here at the end of our string as shown. So you're gonna to wanna to loop on the end like that. And we're gonna do that with both pieces. And if your kids have issues making these knots, you could easily make these ahead of time. There you go. And our paper fasteners are two sizes. One is a full inch long and the other one is three quarters of an inch. So we're going to start with the shorter of the paper fasteners and we're going to put them in the two outer holes here on the forearm. And we're just going to pull the backs open like that to hold them in place. There we go. Now we're going to take a string we're going to take one, just using a skewer here to make this a little easier, and we're going to loop it around one, and then we're going to do the other one. So the string is attached at the top of the forearm piece on both of those. Tighten them up a little bit, and there we go. Perfect. Now we're going to take the upper part of the arm, and we're going to put another one of the paper, shorter paper fasteners in where the elbow goes. You want to test it and make sure that you can move that joint because just like our elbow, we want it to move. Now in here, we're showing putting in this central um, anchor or uh, paper fastener first. However, as you can see, we realized we were having a bit of an issue and it wasn't going together well. So we actually recommend you wait and do that after this step. So what we've got here is some plastic bobbins like you would use for sewing for your thread. And we're gonna take some longer paper fasteners. These ones are one inch long and we're going to attach those bobbins. If you do this step first and then put that shorter middle fastener in, it makes it a lot easier. We did it the harder way, which is fine. It did work, but it is a little bit harder. You might find it easier with your kids if you do that part at the end. So now we're going to attach it to our shoulder and create the shoulder joint here. Again, you wanna make sure that that can move and that everything is fairly free flowing. Perfect. Now we're going to attach some more bobbins here. So these are on the inside. So you can see we've kind of got one hole on the inside and then two on the outside. You want that inside hole and we're gonna attach one on each side with those longer paper fasteners. Just secure those in place by folding them over. And there we go, everything moves, perfect. So now we've got a water bottle and we'll get to that step in a second about attaching. But first you wanna watch carefully how we looped our string around the bobbins. So you can see from the top, on the top ones we went top and around, on the bottom ones we went bottom and around. And we do have a diagram on the site showing that. 
Now we've got some zip ties here and we're going to zip tie our arm onto a water bottle that we have filled with water. We use two different lengths of zip ties. You can use the same length as long as it's long enough to go all the way around on the thicker part of the bottle because we're just going to trim them when we're done anyway. And the water in the water bottle just helps to make it a little heavier so it's an anchor point to keep the arm stable when we go to move it in a moment here. So we're just going to zip tie that nice and securely to our water bottle. Make sure that lid's on nice and tight so we don't have any accidental messes. Zip it in nice and tight and then we're going to trim off the excess. Perfect. And our arm is now ready to move and model how the bicep and tricep help to make the arm move and flex. This is a great biology STEM project for your students. If you need more ideas, visit steampoweredfamily.com. Thanks very much. See you soon. Bye.